okay and quick update on the backyard project this is after we have run the side cutter we're getting some rain in the area so we're gonna come back on Monday to get everything on the trailer and hauled off so this is the in progress update we'll be back next week to hook up this yard we'll be putting in some work how you doing man doing a little video update real quick right. on YouTube? yeah man you want to you, you want to be in the video all right okay so here's the in progress update what are you doing? yeah that's the manager that's got, the manager. yeah we got the manager on site all right and so uh, this is just a quick update. We've run the saw cutter and we'll be back early next week to get this stuff hauled off to the dump. Stay tuned. Okay, here is an update. So we're getting, a, getting the debris raked in piles. We will get these piles onto the trailer and on to the dump. Stay tuned, this is the old yard. And we'll be coming back with some fresh soil. Fresh side. Okay, then we bring your old grass to the dump. Bye bye old grass. Okay, quick update. We got the old turf gone away. The old turf has found its new home at the St. John's Dump. It's currently in the process of making some compost energy that I believe is, is recycled at the dump there. So now we are about ready to bring in the special ingredient and that is the the original mix number three that is the foundation for the new lawn it is on the albino rhino let's take a look at the good stuff this is the prepared area we're only doing three pallets so we'll see how far it goes this is the original mix no matter three this is the good stuff this is not just dirt this is also better than just compost this is the mix stay tuned fresh soil this is the original mix we'll put in some more and get everything leveled out this will be the foundation this will be the foundation for the zoysia. Stay tuned. All right, we got the zoysia in. This was special special customer request. Zoys is the high end luxury for your feet. It's the car it's the carpet. It's the outdoor natural carpet. This is the stuff you want to walk on with your bare feet. Stay tuned. Poking it out, we're getting some additional. This is a shower area that we're going to just uh, reuse some existing pavers so this is the before we're just going to reuse these pavers and reinstall these pavers so that the water drains and doesn't just run off the pavers into the yard creating puddles so we're going to dig this up and put it back in properly stay tuned quick update okay getting the 
getting everything smooth, graded. Cut out the tire. And we got some prep work for the, this is gonna be a shower area. So we're just reusing the pavers that are there. This was some pavers that were left over from some previous project. I think they had their driveway redone. Stay tuned. Okay, make sure you check out the link in the description for the YouTube video where I'm talking about how we install the edging so you don't have to have that concrete on your pavers. In this case, we're reusing some pavers that our customer had, but we're still going to install them so they don't have that nasty looking concrete edge around them where the grass can't grow. This is how it looks when we've prepped it. Make sure you check out the YouTube video so you can see the before. And, and also, you'll be able to see the after. Post in the comments your what you think about it. This is how we landscape the ground so that it's nice and smooth and not a big step down. Stay tuned. Okay, YouTube, we're all done here in beautiful Neptune Beach. We love rebuilding backyards. Why would you just get your lawn resodded when you can have some pavers installed? These guys are actually, they're special. If you see, the water just goes right through the pavers and we built it up on with enough paver base so that the water doesn't start puddling this is a shower that's designed we're here near the beach so when you come back you want to rinse off your beach sand and it's easy to do that and not create puddles in your yard 
because you don't want muddy puddles. So we raised this ground level using the original mix and paper base. And so this whole area stays dry. This is Zoysia sod, which is super durable. And so we put in a different type of edging to make sure that it doesn't creep into the beds. So here's the difference right here. With the installed new sod and fresh soil, and then without. So if you're having drainage issues, one of the solutions is to have the soil built up and fresh sod installed. Call Florida Pro. All done here in beautiful Neptune Beach.